What's go happening, guys? DJ Neeks here, and I uh, just wanted to get this quick review out. Um, this is pretty much going to be me, you know, giving you guys my review of Wonder Woman, and you're going to see me just messing around with one of my uh, other class characters here in Diablo 3. Uh, me just kind of going through the story and leveling my Witch Doctor here. Um, but Wonder Woman, guys... Uh, it's probably not going to be that long of a review. I just I want you guys to know this movie is awesome. You guys need to go out and see this. Go out and support it. This is, this is the movie that I think now gives us hope. For those of us, if you are a fan of DC Comics and all those heroes from DC like Batman and Superman and such, if you're a fan of those guys like myself, this is the movie that I think is going to give us hope that it's actually going to be a good cinematic universe. Uh, I don't know if it's going to be as good as Marvel's, but after what happened with Batman versus Superman, a lot of us were discouraged about it. But I think now this is the one that is going to give us hope that perhaps there is going to be something really good to come from this. Um, as far as origin stories goes, you know, obviously we're kind of familiar with how this formula is, and DC actually did it really well. Um, we're used to seeing it from Marvel with their heroes and, you know, you know, I, I can understand, you know, that, uh, this one's a little different because whereas doing it with Batman, everyone pretty much knows Batman's origin and, uh, Superman's as well, but I don't know if many people know about, uh, the, the lore behind Wonder Woman's origin. So I, the, I think this movie does a really good job in helping, uh, show that and establish that and shows her backstory. Uh, it references, uh, the photo that we saw. In Batman vs. Superman, it does get referenced at the very beginning, but um, you don't necessarily have to have seen that movie in order to know anything about this. Like, you don't have to see that previous one. You, In fact, I would recommend see this one first and then see Batman vs. Superman um, if you haven't seen that, though. But um, I think this one gives it a bit more better context, uh, at least from, from Wonder Woman's side. Um it really, really shows her, shows her well, showcases her. And I will say this, uh, for those who of us who were worried about Gal Gadot being chosen, let me reassure you, she is not at all an issue. She does a great job as Wonder Woman in this movie. Um, I mean, there, you know, the only issues you could say maybe could be the villain, though I actually enjoy how the villain went. Uh, a bit, bit, you know, some spoilers. Uh, here, if you don't want spoilers, you may not want to watch this right now until you see the movie. But um, the main m villain of this movie, it, the movie takes place in World War One during World War One, and um, basically the implication is that the main villain is the God of War Ares, which is pretty cool. They do ha you know delve a lot into the Greek mythology. Oh my goodness, that's really nice. Yep, equipping that. Um, but. Uh, yeah, the, the whole premise is that uh, World War One is going on. Steve Trevor ends up there. He wants to go back to continue fighting against the Germans and to, you know, stop the war. Wonder Woman thinks that Ares is behind the war and thinks that if she goes back and kills Ares, then the war will stop. That's kind of the premise on how she leaves the mascara and uh, heads to London to help uh, stop World War I, uh, bring it to an end. And I will, you know, this is probably, I'm hearing it's a little divisive, um, how they handled Ares and the final battle, but I will say that I liked how they handled Ares. I'm not, you know, um, i actually not sure if I want to tell you guys, because I want you guys to go see it for yourself, because it was really cool. Um, but uh, I was, I really enjoyed the final battle between Wonder Woman and Ares, um, I liked how, you know, the dialogue that they were having in between for things like character development, uh, for Wonder Woman especially, uh, it goes a long way in that regard. It's really well handled, I thought. Um, it's, uh, definitely a really cool way of handling, uh, that aspect of the story. Um, I do, I, you know, Basically, the, the what I liked, what I really liked about how they handled the whole stuff with Ares was that he's, 
not really the cause or like he's not she thinks that everyone's under his mind control and that's why they have this war but he's like i'm not controlling anyone all i do is just kind of whisper in their ear i just influence them i kind of give them inspiration for things like weapons and formulas things like that um so it, that was a really cool i thought it was a really cool unique different take on the character of Ares. Um, and there's more backstory to kind of explain why he is the way he looks and is in the story. Um, I'm, I'm actually a little, you know, reluctant to give you guys too many spoilers because I really want, you know, want you guys to go and see this yourself. Um, I, you know, if you were discouraged by Batman vs. Superman, this is the one that I think you definitely need to go and see. Um, a lot of people are saying it's good and with good reason. Definitely... I definitely recommend it. Definitely encourage you to go see it. Wonder Woman, one of the marquee characters for DC Comics, along with Batman and Superman. Absolutely. Definitely go see this movie. Um, I enjoyed it that much that I would give it, if I was to give it a rating or a grade, I would give it an 8 out of 10. I enjoyed it that much. Um, some people are, you know, I've heard some internet reviewers like, eh, like seven or such. I mean, you could say maybe there's a couple of issues, but obviously what movie doesn't have issues. Um, but it was a lot of what I wanted, um, from this, uh, from this movie. You know, they delivered on that. There is another animated Wonder Woman movie that they made back in 2009 that, uh, some would say is, is actually done a little better. And for certain aspects, I do agree but with the direction and the context of uh, how they handled this, I actually enjoy this just as much. Um, and plus, this is all supposed to be part of a bigger story, a bigger plan. Remember, this is supposed to be part of their cinematic universe, helping tell the overall story, which is, I think, is something that could make this even better if it all pans out in the end, which obviously we still have to wait and see how it pans out, but... Guys, I'm encouraged. I'm I'm really encouraged by by what I saw. Um, if this is what they have in mind for the rest of their cinematic universe and with and handling the other characters, even though they've kind of already mishandled Superman with with uh, Dawn of Justice, but anyway, that's a whole separate discussion and topic. But guys, thumb two thumbs up for me for Wonder Woman. Absolutely go see it. Gal Gadot does a great job. Um, Definitely just, you know, <laughs> go and see. I know I'm rambling at this point. So so that's pretty much it. I, lo I really liked it. Highly encourage you guys to go see it. And I'll see you guys next time.